Hello, everyone. My name is Ama Sarkadidu, and I am so honored to be serving as the 133rd president of the Associate Students of California, of University of California. <laughs> If I remember one thing about my first couple weeks at Cal, it's the insane flurry of questions. Pretty much every conversation I had started with like a, what's your major? Or like, what dorm are you in? And I'm embarrassed to say that I forgot some people's answers to those questions as soon as we stopped talking. So I wanted to share with y'all the questions that I wish I had asked. I now ask, pretty, I now ask pretty much everyone I meet here, why Berkeley? And every answer is different. For some people, location means being in the Bay Area, one of the most dynamic and culturally significant places in the United States. For others, location means that for the first time, you're out on your own, 10,000 miles from home. From some, for some people, coming to Berkeley for family means joining a long line of golden bears, that you've had this school in the back of your brain since you were old enough to walk and talk. For others, Family means being the first in your family to step foot on a college campus and living your ancestors' wildest dreams simply by being here. I asked a professor of mine this question a few weeks ago, and she gave me one of my favorite answers I've ever heard. She told me, Berkeley is intrinsically, irremovably linked to the real world. You cannot separate the two. There's something so special about the way students here are willing to fight for things on and off campus. I say with 100% confidence that this is a school of change makers. Berkeley students aren't just concerned with getting an A in Bio 1B. They're worried about curing ter terminal illnesses. They're not joining student government for something to put on a resume. They're joining to fight for basic need security and to stop tuition hikes. Whether it's composting, joining a protest, or creating a startup, Berkeley students are constantly improving the world around themselves. I've had a pretty tough time at Berkeley and you probably will too. At some point, you're probably going to be sitting in Moffat Library around 2 a.m. cramming for a midterm, and you're going to get so frustrated that you slump out of your chair and just like spread eagle on the carpet. And in that moment, I want to challenge you to remember how your grandma cried when you told her that you'd be going to the number one public university in the whole world. Or the flutter of excitement <laughs> that you felt when you realize that researcher you've been watching on YouTube since you were 12, they teach here. The other question that I ask myself almost constantly is why me? Take a moment to know that your place in this stadium is intentional. Someone read 100,000 100, applications and decided that the school needed you. The self-doubt and imposter syndrome hit pretty hard here. You might feel like this school was not built for you. And I want you to know that that makes it all the more incredible that you are here. Among Nobel laureates, Pulitzer Prize winners, Supreme Court justices, social movement organizers, and change makers, now there's you. And that's not an accident. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you enjoy Golden Bear orientation. And as always, go Bears.